I want to tell you guys about me. I want to kind of like just give you the story, you know, how it all started and how I got to where I am. I was born and raised in Dubai. I went to school called Al Moakim. I went to university here in Dubai as well, and it was called the University of Dubai. When I was in high school, I started getting into music. I ran my school radio, started a band, and to get in with the cool kids, I started DJing and throwing parties. I wasn't very good, and the parties always flopped. That summer, I got a DJ gig at a theme park called Wonderland. They had professional equipment, so I spent all my time learning how to use the equipment. They didn't like that. I got fired. I joined a band, we won the Battle of the Bands, and we recorded our first song in a studio. The music was sort of heavy metal meets oriental. I know, it was very strange. During my college years, I landed my first professional DJ gig at a venue called Henry J. Beans. I got paid less than $100. Even the security was getting paid more than me. I wanted more. In the summer of 2001, I took a trip to Ayanapa in Cyprus. I wanted to see what the club scene was like in another country. It was my first trip without my family, and I had my best friend Saeed with me. I saw these guys perform, bought my first vinyl record, and Saeed bought a whole bunch of CDs. I came back to Dubai, and I wanted more. I landed a job at a radio station called Free 967, hosting a daily evening show, and I had a weekend show called The Project. Did that for a couple of years, then I stopped and I got a day job. I thought I wanted something different. Six months later, I realized I didn't. I got back into radio, this time on Radio 1, hosting a show called The Real Flavor and throwing parties under the same name. A year in, they asked me to host The Breakfast Show. It was awesome. I interviewed Kanye West and I asked him, What is what the biggest misconception you think people have about you? For some reason, they think I don't have a sense of humor. If you listen to like most of my lyrics, a lot of the lyrics are funny and stuff. Now I get a call asking me to DJ at a gig which would be the biggest gig I would ever DJ for. It's the opening of the first ever Formula One in Abu Dhabi. I'm DJing for Beyonce tonight, DJing for Jamiroquai tomorrow, DJing for Kings of Leon and Aerosmith. That's me and that's 20,000 people. Wow. The next year, I DJed for Prince. Who's here to see Prince tonight? Make some noise! What a legend. Things were going great, but I still wanted more. I applied for a TV presenter position on Dubai One, did a trial, and I got the job. I had two shows on Dubai One, was presenting six radio shows, and DJing four nights a week. I was the man. But I wanted more. Sleep. Now it's 2010, and I started my own company. It's called Bliss Inc. Entertainment. It was me, Tanya, and Chef. I started doing YouTube videos, and I also started a night called 411 Nights in Dubai. It became the biggest urban party in the country. I was on cloud nine. Things were so hectic, though. I stopped doing radio, partly because I couldn't keep up with the schedule, and partly because I had an evil boss who was just not happy about all the success I was getting from my TV shows. It's all right. There's always a hater. I was all over billboards, and ads for my TV shows were everywhere. The shows were called Imarati and 20-something. It may look look new, but that's because it's been recently renovated. In the talent corner this week, a name that you should definitely be watching out for and a personal friend of mine. TV was where I found my passion. Out with the two shows, in with a new show. It was called That's Entertainment. I interviewed a ton of celebrities. Okay. Are you definitely gonna stop Hi. over in Dubai, Kemp? Yeah, my man Akon is back in Dubai. Jayla, welcome to Dubai. Usher, welcome to Dubai. So, Louis, how Welcome back. He's very funny and very sweet. Well, with cute boys like you, oh why would I go in? What's up, y'all? Thank you and I can be checking out the real flavor with DJ Bliss. Hi, this is Quincy Johnson. There's nothing as good as a good hang with DJ Bliss. Julian Gomez, welcome to Dubai. I want to go to Jamaica too. I heard it's beautiful. Let's go. Hey, this is James Metallica, and there's DJ Bliss. I am Paris Hilton, and right now you're checking out my favorite DJ, DJ Bliss. Your favorite? Yeah, I was her favorite. She even tweeted me when she went back to the States to tell me how much she loved the mixtape that I gave her. I also met all these people, but my favorite one of all has got to be the guy who I call my mentor now, Will Smith. Dubai in the building. In the building. The TV show was going great. They flew us to LA to host the Oscars red carpet. I went to Hollywood Boulevard, got ripped off by Black Zorro and Storm, then flew back first class on Emirates. It was my first time. Wait, did I tell you I did a skit on Bold and the Beautiful? Aren't we, Bill? Well, I can't get in the way of true love. Who are you people? Eric loved it. Hollywood with DJ Bliss? Come on, this is great. Eric Forrest, Bold and Beautiful. 
I came back to Dubai, won the Best Local DJ Award. The winner of the first award this evening and Best Local DJ, DJ even though I don't really believe in awards, hosted the Dubai International Film Festival with Tom Cruise Ghost Protocol, and I DJed at the after party. I was the face for a Dubai tourism video called City Film. I met White Cliff in Abu Dhabi. We recorded a song in my hotel room. Then I flew to New York to continue the song, and a year later, we shot the video in Miami. I put out my first song. It was called Let It Go, featuring Cardinal Official. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. I loved it. People hated it. I couldn't understand why, but it happens sometimes. The song landed me a car deal though. My first commercial with Dr. Dre, Eminem, and me. Got signed to the biggest DJ booking agency in the US and I did a tour all over the country. I signed to Universal Music Middle East. I started in a short film called Faith in Love. Somewhere around this time, I opened my barbershop. It's called Beats and Cuts. I went back to doing radio for a little while, this time on Channel 4's Early Morning Breakfast Show, but I realized that early mornings were just not for me, so I stopped. I released my second single. It's called Shining, featuring Mims and Daffy. The song went number one across the country. Then I put out my album called Made in Dubai with my longtime producer and friend Prince Q. The album also went straight to number one. Music was going great. I made it onto Vice. I DJed on Arabs Got Talent. Played basketball with Kobe as my coach. I tripped. I fell. He laughed. But it was a lot of fun. I got married. We traveled together a lot. I also traveled quite a bit myself. I was on Red Run's show when he was in Dubai. I started vlogging again weekly. I DJed at what was probably the best gig of my life. One, two, three. So I talked to uh, DJ Bliss. He is the self-proclaimed Ryan Seacrest of Dubai. His name is Marwan Parham Al Awadi. He is a television host on Dubai One Radio Personality on Channel 4. He's a DJ at 411 Nights. I was a guest on the Today Show with Al Roker when they were filming in Abu Dhabi. Joining me now is Marwan, who is the Ryan Seacrest of the uh, United Arab Emirates. I met the Crown Prince of Dubai. I met Drake, got a shout out. <laughs> And the last thing I did recently was release a song called Crazy featuring Melly Mel. Jim Rowan said, Life is not just the passing of time. Life is the collection of experiences and their intensity. Now here I am. It's 2017 and I'm ready to experience even more because that's what I've always loved to do. It puts a smile on my face and the people around me, my family, my friends, and the people I work with, the original B-Squad. Right now, I'm focused on my music and this vlog. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but what I do know is that I'm ready to do more. So join me on this journey to create more experiences more music, more memories, and more good times. Let's go.